Oh seven star citizens, hope you're all having a fantastic day. I hope you're all not having to deal with a lot of the issues that are happening in the PU right now because when you do get onto a server at the moment that's working, mwah. So Invictus has ended, but tomorrow we start leaping into Alien Week. I'm not sure about the rest of the community, but I absolutely love the lore and the ship design behind all of the alien things. Whether it's the savage and sharp edged ships of the Vandal or the insectoid ships of the Xi'an. I get excited every single time we learn anything about them. But I want to talk to you today about what we might see in this coming Alien Week. You see, every time this pops around every year, there's always something. There's some new lore, there's some new ships, something for us to grab our hands onto. And you guys can all come back in three days and tell me that I am completely wrong. So let's have a couple of predictions for Alien Week this year. To start off with, I had been thinking for the past few months that we were likely going to see the Santok Yai probably released at Alien Week. The ship has been in development for a while now, and CRG have been showing us a ton of info about this Jean medium fighter. Well, we do know we're going to be seeing it during ISC. However, it's looking less and less likely that it's going to be released now until 320. So this does beg the question, what will we see? Last year, we didn't really see anything, but the year before that, we got the Gatak Raylan. Well, let's have a quick look at the Raylan. Gatak are a dedicated industry manufacturer for the Jean. The way their manufacturers work is one business makes all ships for a certain style. For example, the Aopoa make all of the light craft in the genre. Alien industry is something we don't see much of, but interests me a lot. Now, while it does seem that Gatak's primary focus is cargo, I don't see a reason there couldn't be more industry focus there. I don't think that they would go into anything like mining, but like crafting, like factory work or refining seems like it could be up their alley. So what I'm hoping we get is a Gatak or at least Jean refining ship. A name I do want to throw out that is sort of out there in the ether of leaks and whatnot is the Soylen, uh, but we're not going to be talking about that today. I try not to talk about leaks too often because a lot of the time they end up being horrendously, horrendously wrong. You know, a lot of people will remember the MPUV that was supposed to be getting a mining head that just did not happen or exist. So we'll leave that one or more information. The reason I think a refining ship makes a lot of sense is we've seen a lot of work done recently on ships and in-game design for industry, whether that's mining or cargo with the C2 and the upcoming freight elevators. We also saw work on the Mariah Fury, which uses some very unique thrusters that are very reminiscent of the Cartwell. I think it's also just a huge design space that doesn't really get touched on much of, you know, having industry with aliens. There's so many different things you can do with them because there would be so many just exotic techniques of how they refine, how they make components. So that's an industry ship. The next two theories of what we might see at Alien Week come from the graphic that we saw in Citizen Con 2951. In the past, CRG have shown us some images of ships that they will develop in the future. Now, looking at this graphic, we can see that every single one of these ground vehicles we have seen in game, as well as we have also seen the Odyssey from the exploration side and the hover quad from the hover vehicle side. This design in particular though, seems very, very alien looking for a ship. This may denote some sort of medium sized Jean Explorer, or very importantly, it could also just be a scrapped concept of what the Odyssey ended up becoming. The areas at the bottom of the ship seem almost like maybe gravlev thrusters, which would allow for a very unique movement style that would be fantastic for landing on rough terrain. Then we have the bombers section. Now in the entirety of Star Citizen, we only have two bombers the A2 and the A1, which is currently in development. And for reference here, when I'm talking about bombers, I'm talking about gravity bombers, not bombers that are launching torpedoes. Well, the vehicles here do seem pretty alien and could be possibly a, a Jean or Taveran Asperia ship. And I do know that this one is a bit more of a stretch, but I think in terms of alien ships that we have currently or in concept, there is a lot of things in the military structure that we don't see yet. We have light fighters, we have medium fighters, we have heavy fighters, as well as we have dropships. So I do think a bomber would fit the roster quite well, as well as once again, it would allow for such an interesting exploration of technology. Alien bombers, you would assume, would have alien 
tech bombs, perhaps an EMP style bomb or a alien way of delivering the bombs. Maybe they don't work in the same way as the bombs do on the A2. I think in terms of what we might see come from the alien ship manufacturers this alien week or soon, these are probably the ones that we're likely to see next. However, I think it's also important to note that it really does sound like there is an alien ship coming. And that's to do with all of the monthly reports that we've been getting. So I decided to have a look at the last couple of monthly reports, sift through them a bit and see if I could work out what might be alluding to it. If you guys ever look at the monthly reports, you know that there are tons and tons and tons of ships that are in development that, you know, finish gray box, but never really come out. But then there are also some that do like the Fury. So going through these monthly reports, I wanted to make sure that I was removing any possibilities of these ships being the Fury or the Tumbral Storm. And I think I have found something that feels like it's an alien ship. So first off, I looked at the March monthly report. The gray box for a new vehicle approached completion. Some unique maneuvering components were heavily detailed, including the front housings and suspension system. The seat enter exit mechanism was fleshed out while the front and rear doors were adjusted to prevent clipping and create a tight seal when closed. Now, originally, when I had first seen this, I thought that they were possibly referencing the Fury. But the fact that they're talking about front and back doors makes it a bit more interesting. The Fury does not have that. If there was a ship that sounded like an alien ship, this is what I feel like they would use. The only other manufacturer that I would expect to use unique maneuvering components would probably be MISC, and they use alien components in their things anyway. So it's definitely screaming out alien to me. Then I had a look at the April monthly report, which seems to say that whatever vehicle this is has finished Greybox. In the US, Greybox on an upcoming vehicle was completed. We have redesigned the dashboard and cockpit to allow for better visibility while driving in first person view. We also did a short pass on optimization as we found that we may have gone a bit overboard on the detail and needed to pull back a bit, especially in areas rarely seen by the player. Now, first off, they did use the term driving, which after reading this, I thought, well, this must therefore be the Tumbral Storm. But in the May monthly report, they talk about the Tumbral Storm still being in gray box. So I don't think that this is the same vehicle. And it's now starting to make me think that we might see an alien ground vehicle popping up soon, which if we do, I think can be a lot of fun as long as it fills a role that a lot of ground vehicles don't already, because a lot of you will know ground vehicles can be kind of pointless a lot of the time, and it'd be nice to have a bit more of a use for them. So let me know what you think. What do you think we're going to see during Alien Week? Do you think any of that stuff from the monthly report holds any weight at all? Am I just losing my mind and they're talking about the Tumbral Storm each time? Let me know in the comments below, as well as let me know what kind of alien ships you would like to see. Make sure to hit the thumbs up if you did enjoy the video, and make sure to subscribe if you want to see some more Star Citizen videos in the future. I've got some more stuff coming in the works, some stuff that's a bit more gameplay focused as I go through some of my favorite things in Star Citizen, including some of the most enjoyable missions in the game. Also, lastly, if you do want to join me for any sort of Star Citizen escapades, join me over at twitch.tv slash Kronzi. We've got an org. We do a lot of stuff every day. We're usually open crew if you guys want to join. That's it for me, guys. Have a good one. 07s.